coming into the area. Do not have that in the forecast. Things are actually still very, very quiet in the Atlantic Basin. The Gulf is quiet. The Caribbean's quiet. The Atlantic Basin is quiet. We've got a big plume of Saharan dust. Notice the circle there. Someone said yesterday it looks like a cinnamon roll uh, heading out over the Atlantic here. So still dry. Now they're tropical waves. The tropical waves are just in an extremely hostile environment. And for these tropical waves to organize into a system, they can't have dry air. What dry air does is it kills off those thunderstorms and therefore nothing's able to organize. That's how a tropical system organizes. It has persistent showers and thunderstorms that helps lower the pressure and that's how it starts to rotate and it becomes a closed cyclone eventually. And we just aren't going to have that with the dry air. Could that change? Most likely the dry air will start to settle some towards maybe the middle of August, but the next seven to 10 days look like the dry air is just taking over. There's a tropical wave right there. Look what happens as it moves towards the east here. Interacts with the dry air. Storms dissipate and it never really organizes into anything. Now we'll say you do have to keep an eye on these waves. Sometimes there's nothing in the Atlantic and then there's just enough of a disturbance left where if it does move into a favorable environment in the Caribbean or Gulf, then it can trigger. So remember, you don't necessarily need a tropical wave remaining organized across the entire Atlantic Basin to organize closer to home. But for now, things just still look quiet. And once again, we've gone 23 days so far without a name system. Last year we went 32 days, so nothing out of the norm really so far. We'll watch it, but we're quiet for now. Very average pattern in the low 90s.